Hello and welcome to a video on Shadow. I'm going to be doing some videos on upgrading PCs, hardware appropriate to Star Citizen and high-end gaming recommendations and that sort of stuff throughout the next few months. Shadow, for me, is an alternative to upgrading or buying a PC for Star Citizen and the latest games. So what is Shadow? Shadow is a subscription-based remote Windows 10 gaming PC that is available on almost any uh, Windows, Android, Mac OS and iOS device that has an internet connection of at least 15 megabits per second and H.264 support. It's available from £27 or $35 a month. You can run it as a window on your device or have it taking over the whole PC acting as if you were directly in front of your Shadow PC. Shadow is available in France, United States, United Kingdom, Belgium, Luxembourg and Switzerland currently. So what can you use it for? It's an alternative to upgrading, like I said. It allows your old or underpowered PC, Mac or laptop to play games. Yeah, you can use it on phones and tablets and stuff as well. I've used mine for playing Star Citizen from my tablet and my phone, for example, but more sensibly Star Citizen and various games from my small laptop and other PC that doesn't have any dedicated graphics cards. I'm planning to use it for LAN, for example. I can go up to an event and literally take whatever PC I want, or just use one there, and have my own high-powered gaming PC there. You also get to leverage the internet connection of the Shadow PC's data center, so you can use it for streaming to Twitch or YouTube, or to host game servers, for example. It's great having access, for me, to a unified gaming PC across all of my devices. So, I saw Shadow at i62 Insomnia Gaming Festival in the UK, and I thought it was a cool bit of tech, and then I got in contact with the devs and went, I really like this, does it work for Star Citizen? And I've been messing around getting it working with Star Citizen to a level that I think is fun and useful and playable. Recently, I've been um, poking the devs with a lot of questions and that's what prompted this video. Shadow is constantly being developed and upgraded both on the software side where they're trying to further eliminate latency and improve the general software and the hardware is constantly being upgraded. They finished recently upgrading their NVIDIA 1080s um, from 1070s that they were previously, and they're about to upgrade their CPUs. They typically upgrade every 12 to 18 months hardware-wise. Eventually, they're hoping to add like VR capabilities and compatibility. The current specs available to people at time of recording are NVIDIA GTX 1080s or equivalent. The US um, data centers have Quadro P5000 cards, which are pretty much uh, almost identical to 1080s for performance, but I have yet to test those with Star Citizen personally. So if anyone does test them and they find any issues with them going forward, um, poke me about it or poke um, more appropriately Shadow about it, but I um, I am going to be following this uh, a lot, this tech. CPU-wise, it's equivalent to an i7. It's a Xeon with eight dedicated threads. They are planning to upgrade those further in the future. Memory, you get 12 gigabytes. Now, memory-wise, that is borderline currently for the Star Citizen 3.1.3 and 3.1.4 patches. However, if you're not running anything else on that system at the same time, it is very playable. Storage-wise, you get 256 gigabytes and the internet connection in their data centers is one gigabit down and 100 megabit up. So you'll be able to download and install the latest games on your Shadow PC extremely quickly. How secure is it then? So with Shadow, you're in control of the security and antivirus just like you are with a regular PC. Each Shadow user has its own environment, isolated from other users by recognized components with hardware elements of its own. And Shadow's tier three plus data centers provide effective corporate class protections against cyber attacks, DDoSing and more. Setup is extremely simple. After subscribing to the Shadow service, you download the Shadow app from your device um, from, from the website. You can grab it from the store on your mobile device as well on your Android. Then you run the app and select the highest bandwidth that's appropriate to you and then press start. You're then setting up a Windows 10 PC um, if it's the first time you've used it, but it's 100% your own environment. Once you set that up, it's, it's set up like that permanently. You'll want to update Windows, install the latest graphics drivers and any software that you've got. I'll link an article I've got on Windows 10 setup guides as well as a, a deeper FAQ into that shadow service as well down below. 
Star Citizen is obviously an alpha game, and Shadow is quite a young technology, so there may be teething issues in the future, and potentially even now, um, based on people's hardware and that sort of stuff. At the moment, Star Citizen-wise, I find it very playable on the 3.1.3 live build uh, in Arena Commander. I've been messing around in lots of Vandal Swarm and Pirate Swarm, uh, and it's very, very fun on the 3.1.4 PTU build, and there's lots of improvements in that build as well that make stuff feel a lot more responsive, uh, and that's, that's much better. There is a tiny amount of latency with the service, which will continue to improve. Reducing that by setting up Shadow and your PC correctly will mitigate a lot of headaches. I have tested this with lots of different people. Some people cannot see any form of latency. However, some people have massive issues with even a fraction amount of added latency. They also have Shadow Boxes available if you want another outlet to a TV or you don't have a PC or something. At peak times, their servers are only at 30% capacity currently and they're going to grow to meet any demand that the service may have in the future. Shadow users won't have to queue for their services or anything like that. Tech support wise and questions I've been using the Shadow Discord. It's very quick and super useful having real-time help from both the mods and community there. If you'd like to know more go to shadow.tech. I am going to be working with them to help encourage um, and get Star Citizen as supported as it can be on the service but I really think there's a place for both these cloud-based services um, like Shadow and for PC hardware enthusiasts both. So there's definitely going to be people um, in the future that both build their own rig. But also I think that we're going very much closer towards cloud-based services as a much more normal thing. If you have a powerful PC already, then Shadow is much less likely to be for you. Unless you're on the move a lot and you want a access to a gaming PC on the move. I'm planning to use this for LAN events and things like that that I go to. But Shadow will continue to be upgraded and that's the joy of it for me. For under £30 a month, you can enjoy a, a gaming PC that's gonna constantly be upgraded and updated. If you do want to sign up, use the code BOARDGAMER. That will get you a discount of 10 of your chosen currency off. I am recommending trying it for a month before committing to a longer period though. Make sure it suits your needs. Make sure you're not one of the people that are like, I can't deal with any form of extra latency um, or if it's absolutely great for you. If you do have any questions about the service, please chuck them in the comments below. I'll make sure any relevant questions or suggestions that are not answered in the beginner's guide, that are um, sensible questions that aren't freely and easily available on the FAQ, are passed along and hopefully answered as well. Um, I'll link a setup and info and more FAQ -E articles uh, down below as well if you want to find out more information. This video was in no way sponsored or contracted by Shadow. I am, however, planning to work with them in the future, and that discount code does give me a kickback. Do you like the idea of gaming PCs leveraging cloud-based services like this? Do you think latency, however fractional, is going to be a major issue? Have you had great experiences with a service? Have you had terrible experiences with this or, or other similar services? Then please tell me what you think in the comments below. Every month we have a ship giveaway. This time for May, it's for a Tonkin Turtle, the Tumbrel Nova Tank, and a Terrapin, donated by our spotlighted org, the Talons Outer Haven. They are a prominent Star Citizen roleplay organization that is focused on exploration and kinship, as well as player character-driven lore. They also have their own roleplay-related internet radio station, which is a real radio station which you can listen to, uh, which is called Radio Free Outer Haven. They are recruiting for those interested in roleplay and want to participate in the alpha testing and development of Star Citizen. Links below to their org and radio station. They are incredibly friendly. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that ship and vehicle bundle is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and then comment on any of my May YouTube videos throughout the month. Each video gives you another chance to win. For more information on anything we talked about, check the links down below. A special thank you to my Patreons and donators. Your support allows me to create the amount of focused content I do. Again, links to further support the channel are down below as well. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really does help me, as does your feedback. Please take care, guys, and I'll see you in the verse.